Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be super fun. We are going to be doing kind of a first look and a try on of the brand new Wet n Wild Saved by the Bell collection. How cute is this? It came in this whole entire locker. They did send this my way. I believe you can buy the whole set too. I actually was so surprised. I saw this in stores already at Ulta on Sunday. So it it should be in most stores all of my stores had it and it should be available online hopefully this like full PR set and it isn't sold out because you can buy it like this but yeah I just got this in so I thought I would go ahead and review this since this is a brand new launch and I've been reviewing a lot of wet and wilds collections they've been coming out with some really cute collabs you guys know I did the Spongebob one not too long ago which was so cute they have the new saved by the bell one now please don't hate me but I don't watch this show I haven't seen the show really of course I've heard about it I know some of the characters just from references and stuff like that but it's not something I watch so I do apologize if I don't get like the references but we're just gonna be reviewing the makeup trying it out because I still think you can enjoy the makeup even if it's not a show that you watch and a lot of people are kind of wondering how it performs if they want to pick it up let me show you guys the inside of this PR kit so it comes out of the locker you could totally save that if you guys are a big saved by the bell fan one item might have not made it completely but that's okay but here we are with all the products so there's a little bit of everything to do an entire look similar to how the spongebob collection had like the highlight, the palette, there's lip kits, setting sprays, all that stuff. So before we apply the makeup, I am going to go ahead and show everything how it is packaged because it is adorable. So we're just going to pull everything out here. First up, we have the Squad Goals Shadow Palette. It looks like a locker. How fun is that? So this was an early 90s show. Technically started in 1989. I was born in 92. So this was a little bit before my time. That's why I was more into like the spongebob collection and the hello kitty collection that they did but yeah just a little bit before my time but still really cute eyeshadow palette like i really like the colors in here and even though i'm not a saved by the bell fan i could definitely see myself using this as long as the quality is good i'm gonna have the prices pop up here to the retail prices so you guys can see what everything costs individually so this is the palette here the squad goals palette and it opens up like this and this is the color scheme that we are getting it looks really nice this is really fun for fall as well um they do have some fun imprints here they have the z and k with the heart and they have the go tigers here and um what does that say i think it says the max right here in this blue so just so some fun little details i'm super excited about these little cheek duos in the collection there's three of them mine kind of arrived a little bit broken the one i have intact is the nerd alert little duo so this is the glow face duo and it comes with two blushes in this one how cute is that the packaging is really good on these and it says pick you up seven ish and then sorry screech oh yeah i have heard of that screech character there now this one is a little bit broken but i think it's okay it's so cute though this one is the it's all right and it has two more blushes love the tones of this one that is so pretty it says you macho pig and then oink oink baby <laughs> must be some show reference and then this one i won't open because it's super messy oh i might be able to just empty that and show you guys this one is the relationship goals glow face duo and i'm not sure what it says on it because it's messed up but these are adorable all right so i just went ahead and emptied the excess powder so it's a little bit messed up but you could still see the colors and i'll have swatches for you guys of all of these as well next we have a wanna wrestle setting spray <laughs> super cute again and we have this little mascara kit. This is the Bayside Cheerleading Mascara. We have some brushes. This is so adorable. It's like one of those 90s clear phones. How fun is that? So this one is a little brush kit and it says Zack Attack Live Performance at the Max brush set. It has an eyeshadow brush, a crease brush, and an angled face brush. So I'll test those out today as well, but I kind of just want to keep this in the packaging because that is so cute. And then this brush, this is the Home of the Tigers Kabuki brush. And then we have three lip kits. We have the Bayside Beauties Plumping Lip Kit. There's a lip liner and a plumping lip gloss in there. So this is Lisa. 
These are all kind of pinky tones. This next one is called Kelly. And then we also have Jessie. And then the last thing in here, I believe, is a little makeup bag. Very fun. So that is everything in the collection. Let's go ahead and do the try -on. All right, into the palette here. I am really liking this Z and K, like pinky mauve tone. So I think I'm going to put that in the crease. I'm not using the brushes just yet. I did want to get more of a fluffy brush for my base color. This shade's going on extremely light. Let me see if I can pick up some more product. It doesn't seem as dusty as some of their other matte shadows usually are. So that is a nice touch. Um, it is building up though, as you guys could see. I'm going to deepen that up with this burgundy. We'll see how pigmented this one is. I'm just taking a little bit. It's actually kind of like a burgundy brown. So that's definitely a little bit darker. I am getting a little bit of fallout with that one. So I'm going to have to clean up a bit, but that's okay. The pigment does seem really nice, but it's, it's not like dusty fallout. It just kind of got in my corners a little bit weird. Like I got too much product because I was expecting it to be super light like the pink one was. But that one actually had pretty good pigment. So I'm kind of going to really go over this and try to diffuse this color out so it's not super dark because i kind of want to use that same shade in the outer corner but i just want this to be super blended i don't like how my inner corner is getting a little bit dark but we'll fix that with concealer i'll try out the brush from the collection this little pointed brush for our outer corner i will go into that same brownish burgundy again I'm gonna tap off that excess so it doesn't get all over like last time and pat this in the outer corner I'm not loving the quality I will be honest I do feel like there's a lot of fallout happening you have to make sure that you are tapping off the excess off of your brush or it's gonna be kind of messy so I'm not really a fan of that and they do go on a bit lighter i typically don't love wet and wild matte shadows but i do like their shimmers so hopefully those will kind of redeem this palette for us because so far i feel like i've just kind of made a mess with my eyeshadow but i'm gonna try and blend that out with this excess product i'm just gonna take that on my lower lash line And I didn't dip in anymore just because I didn't want this to be super dark. So just kind of blending that very lightly. Next, we'll take that flat brush in the kit. And we're going to go with a little bit of the setting spray just to get it wet. Let's try out this orange shimmer. It's very orange, so I don't know how I'm going to feel about it. I'm just placing this in the middle. I'm going to take a little bit of this color on my finger and blend this in the inner portion and a little bit into the middle. This one's kind of like a pearlescent color. It's not as glittery metallic as the other one we used, but I don't know if I like these together. Kind of looks odd, but anyways, I'm just going to press that into mostly the inner corner and then we'll go back over with that same orangey shade. These almost, these metallics almost have like a weird gel-like finish to them. I'm not sure how I feel about it. So that's how the eyes ended up coming out with adding my concealer to touch up. So we are gonna go in with the mascara in the collection. This one is the Bayside Cheerleaders one. I haven't really tried much Wet n Wild mascara, so I'm curious to see how this is gonna look. So this mascara has more of like a curved wand to it. So let's see how this applies. I'm doing the curved side up and then I'll just kind of like switch around, see what I want to do for different layering. I'm kind of surprised. I didn't expect a whole lot from this and it really separates the lashes too. For my blush today, I think I'm going to go in with the It's All Right little duo and use this burgundy one and we'll see 
how that will look on the cheeks. I know it looks kind of like a scary color, but I feel like it would match our eye look. And with the shadows being not super pigmented, this one might not be as well. I have no clue. So I'm just going to dip in very lightly to that. I do like a bright blush though, so I think this will be a pretty color. It almost looks hot pink on my brush. And we'll apply this over the cheeks. I did apply my bronzer already, but yeah, that's a really cute color. Definitely not as crazy as it looks, but you can definitely build it up to like that bright pink cheek. So if you guys don't like a lot of blush, you'll probably want to skip this one and go for the more neutral ones. But for me, I love hot pink on my cheeks. I am going to use this little kabuki to put on some powder and that'll also tone down the cheeks as well so they won't be so crazy but I gotta powder the whole face so I'm just putting this all over and then I do my highlight after that so I don't lose the glow so there's the powder the brush feels nice like this is a nice brush I would keep like in my car or in my bag for touch-ups I'm gonna go ahead and try this highlighter shade that's in the relationship goals I always like Wet n Wild's highlighters, I will say. They make some really pretty ones. So that is the cheeks. Let's do lips to finish off. The other kits look kind of bright, so I'm going with this one. This one is Jessie's kit. This lip liner. Um, it's not like the most creamy formula. It kind of reminds me of Max formula where it's almost in between. I like the color a lot though. This is a really nice, just everyday nude. Then we're gonna go in with the lip gloss. This smells so good. This smells like bubble gum. I've never had a bubble gum lip gloss before. No way. I just wanna smell this all day. The pigment's really pretty, but formula is sticky. <laughs> so it's not the most comfortable lip gloss, but I mean, it does smell good, and it is really pretty on the lips, but if you don't like that sticky feeling, you probably won't like these, but I can't get over the smell. It's like the perfect bubblegum scent. And I forgot setting spray, so let me go ahead and spray this. This has a weird scent to it. It's like it's supposed to be unscented, but it has like this weird, almost natural scent to it. Here is the finished look with all of the Wet n Wild Saved by the Bell products. Let's get into my final thoughts. All right, so let's talk about the collection. I do think this is super fun. I love the theming, adorable, lots of cute products in this collection. I do wanna give my opinions on all the products we tried out today though to let you know if I think it is worth it or not. What is my favorites? Is there anything I don't like? We are gonna talk about it. So let's start with the eyeshadow palette. Starting off with kind of a bad one. Oh, I, I don't know you guys, I don't really care for this. It might be my least favorite thing in the collection. I just don't think it blended well. I feel like it was pretty messy to work with and I feel like like, my eyeshadow seems like it's faded a lot. Like, the shadows kind of blend away and they don't have super great pigmentation. Wet Wild shadows are not always my favorite, but, like, I have the SpongeBob palette. I have a couple of their color icon ones, and those are okay, but this one I feel like is worse than those. I don't know what it is, but I'm just not a fan of this formula. Even the metallics didn't seem that great to me. I don't love, like, the jelly finish that they have. So, ah, I don't know. Even the ones that are just a shimmer, like this one was kind of dusty. So I know it's only a $15 palette, but still, like, I can pay $15 for ColourPop and I like the quality a lot better. BH Cosmetics a lot better. So I'm gonna say this palette is probably a pass for me. But if you're super into the nostalgia, a huge fan of Saved by the Bell, you might want it just as a collector's piece or just to try out. You might enjoy it even more than me. But I'm gonna say it's a pass for me. As far as the brushes go, I think this is a really cute set, especially the one with the cell phone case. That is adorable. Onto the mascara. I think this one is okay. I don't think it's my favorite formula ever for sure. It's not a fave drugs or mascara. I definitely have better in my collection. It's okay. It created nice lashes. 
but I don't think it's like something you need to run out and grab. It's just, you know, it's cute with the packaging, but not a must have. My favorite thing in the line is definitely the little blush duos. I always love Wet n Wild's cheek products. They do so well with their blush and highlights. So I like all of these. I think they're so cute. Definitely a must have from the collection. And the packaging is probably my favorite out of everything besides the little foam. In the collection those are adorable the lip sets are really cute as well i love that bubblegum scent but it is a little bit sticky as it's setting down that some of that stickiness is going away though and it's leaving me this really cooling feeling so i think that's the plumping aspect i mean they do look pretty plump so I really liked the set I used, the Jessie set. I think that one's going to be the most wearable. The other ones look really pink, so I would definitely recommend this one. Of course, the setting spray. This one does contain alcohol in the formula. It's the second ingredient, so if that bothers you, I would skip. Usually, alcohol in setting sprays is kind of the agent that helps it dry down um, and not budge. Um, I do think it set the makeup down. It's not super glowy, so if you guys have oily skin, you might like this one. So I don't know for sure how long wearing it will be, but I do feel like it has kind of set everything down. I'll just have to see how long it makes my makeup last, if it makes it last longer. So that is everything in the collection. Definitely some hits and some misses here. I'm really sad about the palette, you guys. I wanted to love it because the color scheme is really pretty. So I decided to throw in a surprise giveaway here for these items. I decided not to swatch those lip kits just because I know they're gonna be so similar and I do not need them in my collection. So I hope one of you guys who are a big Saved by the Bell fan could win this little prize package here. So you're gonna get the Saved by the Bell little bag as well as these two lip kits. All you have to do is be subscribed to my channel and leave a comment about whatever you want down below. And I'll pick a winner one week from today. I hope you guys found this video helpful even though I haven't watched the show. Hopefully you guys aren't too mad at me, but I I wanted to give you guys some information in case you guys were wanting to purchase this. I will have everything linked down below. Hopefully it's still available on Ulta. I don't know if it is coming to other retailers. It might be an Ulta exclusive, but it should be on the Wet n Wild website too, but I'm always a huge Ulta shopper. I think they're doing like some sort of a sale today if you guys want to even check out the website for some other things too while you guys are shopping because they have a lot of new stuff i just posted a new at ulta video on sunday so i have all the new goodies in that video i'll have that link down below because there is some must-haves for sure especially if you guys like fragrance body scrubs all of that but anyways i will go ahead and let you guys go thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs>